Hi guys, look where we are today. How cool is that? This is the UEA, so the university, just over the road from where we live. So we thought we'd give you a nice little backdrop to look at. <laughs> so today we're gonna to take you through some stretching. A lot of you have been asking, how do I do stretching, what do I need to do? So what we're gonna do, break it down nice and simple for you. Um, one th point to remember, you need to always be warm before you do your stretching. So either you've done your warm up or at the end of your workout, okay? Because if you're cold, you're gonna pull your muscles and potentially tear them, all right? So I'm gonna take you through lower body, so legs and lower half. Leon's gonna take the camera, who's behind it now, being my glamorous assistant, and hello. he's gonna come and take the upper half. And we've got dogs coming to say hello. John's gonna get attacked by hello. a dog. Right, so for all your stretches, guys, you're gonna wanna hold them for 20 to 30 seconds, okay? Um, don't take them to the point that's really, really hurting you. It's just to the point of what we call mild discomfort. So you can feel a bit of a pull in there, but it's not painful, all right? So first I'm gonna take you through is what we call hip flex. Hip flex is stretch. Normally this knee will go on the floor. I'll put it on the floor anyway, forget it. <laughs> take one for the team. So what I'm doing, torso's nice and upright. Legs are parallel, sorry, 90 degrees, my front leg. I lean forward slightly and you get a pull right down the inside of your groin, okay? So this is your hip flexors down here. And when you've done that, you're gonna swap legs, do the same thing the other way. 20 to 30 seconds, all right? It'll feel a little bit tighter to start with, and as the stretch progresses, it's gonna loosen off. Okay, from hip flexors, we're gonna go to quads, your big front ones at the front here, all right? What you're gonna do, you take one leg at the back, you've probably all seen this one before, but what I like to do is keep a little gap between my heel and my bum. If you pull your heel right into your bum, you tend to push your hips forward, which engages your hip flexors again, which you've already done. So what I do is keep a little, heel between, hip, little gap between my heel and my bum, clinch my bum cheeks, really tight, and it's called antagonist stretching, you get a little bit more down the front. And like I say, the same on the other leg. All right, so that is hip flexors, quads, two main ones on the front. We're now gonna go to hamstrings. So you've seen all different kind of stretches for hamstrings before, I'm sure, but this one is the one I like to do. It's nice and simple, like I use after my spinning. Take one step forward with the one leg, hands go on the opposite thigh, lean down, and you're gonna stretch all the way down the straight leg, okay? If you wanna engage your calves as well, lift your toes off the floor. So toes go to the ceiling, heels to the floor, and that's gonna engage your calf as well. And you turn around, do the same for the opposite leg. And then last two, I'm going to show you, adductors, inside of the legs, all right? Just going to lean down to the side like this, a bit of John claude Van Damme-esque, <laughs> we've met actually. <laughs> yeah, just saying. Plug, plug. All right. And then the last one I'm going to show you is called what we call IT stretch. So your iliotibial band, which is down the back here, all right? Down the side here, sorry. So what you do, take one leg, round the back, a bit like a poser, all right? Poser? Ballerina, that's what I meant to say. It's, it's all the same. And what you're going to do is you take the hand, the leg that goes underneath, you come up over the top, lean forward, you put a little bit of pressure of this thigh onto here, lean across, and what you can do is you're going to get a nice stretch down the outside of this leg. And you're going to lose some man points. You're going to lose some man points. <laughs> and do a little plie or whatever it's called at the end, curtsy. And that is your lower body stretch for you all. Right, so now John's bored you with the legs, I'm going to bore you with the other torso. Same, same applies. 15 to 20 seconds after you've warmed up at the end of a workout, a little bit more progressive, 20 to 30 seconds on each side or as a whole. So nice and easy, straight into it. No, no, no messing around today. Back, make a basketball hoop. That's what I normally say, push the elbows out to the side, arc the shoulders forward like you're a big chest hat, chest bound buff guy in the gym who never trains his back. Roll the shoulders forward and really stretch on the back. Hold it for 10 to 15 seconds after you've warmed up or at the end for 20 to 30. Simple. And then from there, take it nice and easy, roll the shoulders back, hands up onto those tight little glutes. You should be working them by now and they should be getting nice and strong. You roll the shoulders back, push the chest out, show us your double D cups and uh, <laughs> nice, uh, nice chest stretch, which we always like to see, which is always good. Nice and easy. So always remember, shake it off because you will feel really tight after you've done a stretch. And then take one arm down the back to stretch the triceps. You can put your hand across the face. I don't need to see your face at the end of a workout. It doesn't really matter. And sometimes when you get really flexible or if you've got really long levers or arms like John, you can do that where you reach around and pretend to undo a bra clip or something, but I just can't do it. So it's, it's not- well, I can't undo bra clips, I can't do well, that. I can't do the stretch, I can't undo the bra clips. <laughs> I can do that by looking at it. You're like Joey from Friends, you oh, click yeah, and it comes undone. And it's just done. And then obviously remember exactly the same the other side. Once you've done the triceps, which is obviously, I'm forgetting to tell you, triceps down the back of the arm. Back stretch, obviously, chest stretch. So that's triceps. So shoulders, bring it across, always. You right there? A fly on my shoulder. John's getting eaten alive. So shoulders, always remember to slightly bend the arm so it doesn't put no pressure across the middle of the back. Stretch them right down these delts after you've really worked your shoulders, got nice, nice shape to your arms after you've been doing our lean arms workout. <laughs> Easy. And then you shove it round exactly the same the other side. 
How you feeling over there? I'm good, mate. Right, Getting 15, eaten alive. 15 to 20 seconds, we're going to keep telling you all the time. Stretch that body because otherwise you're going to get really short muscles and they're going to get really uncomfortable. Last one, biceps, which no one seems to know. Arms straight, thumbs over and stretch down. And you're going to really feel that pinch all the way down the inside of the biceps. And then you have nice, nice, long, slender, lean muscles. Look at that. Improves blood flow. Oosh. Well done. So that was your basic full body stretch. I took the top. John took the bottom and just one quick safety point or a little bit of information that could save you quite a lot of money basically is a lot of the time when people feel muscles hurt and especially from you some of you bigger guys who are doing a lot of deadlifts all the time you'll feel a lot of lower back pressure sometimes and you feel like you've injured yourself you go and see a sports therapist or a physiotherapist trust me they are really good but it might just be they might turn around and charge you 20 30 pound or 40 dollars or whatever it may well be. How many be. in yen? I don't know in yen, but it's a bloody lot. And um, they might charge you to just turn around and say, this is what you need to do. You need to stretch your glutes, you need to stretch your hamstrings, and you need to stretch your calves. Because your muscles get short with training them, and if you don't stretch them out, they start to pull on the origins. So your hip flexors, they're gonna start to pull on your lower back, so that's why your lower back's gonna hurt. And especially on the front, when your quads get really tight, it tends to pull on your patella tendon, which is basically the little tendon that goes over the top of the knee, and that really starts to feel uncomfortable, like you've actually pulled something on the inside of your knee. I know, because I thought I'd done it. And all it can be is simple as stretching the quads and stretching the hamstrings cast look at that so just remember stretching out is just as important to avoid injury and also to stop you feeling like you've got an injury when you actually haven't you've just got tight muscles so get them into your workout being flexible is great being flexible rocks i'm getting better so i'm getting into the v6 your partner will muscles. love it you have, your partner will absolutely love it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that's helped. And if you need any more information on stretching, how to do it, progressive stretching, and you know, there's. <laughs> loads, I told it how it was. There's loads of different types of stretch you can do, but that's just the basic one. So, never cold. Do them at the end of your warm up. If you do them at the end of your warm up, 15 to 20 seconds. At the end of your workout, 20 to 30. So, well done, guys. Thanks for watching.